Barakata Yehawa Barakata Yehoshai by Hashem Raka Kodash Barakatom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. In peace and salutations to you. I came out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the brother Raya with another video. And I'm going to start it off with Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come with each passing day. We're getting closer and closer to this ending coming, the beginning of Jacob's trouble. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, Internet censorship and that coming fame of the word, because I'm sure a lot of you brothers have heard about how uh, on YouTube, in order to live stream, you have to have a thousand subscribers. This is just one step closer to the fame of the word and one more indication that we're this much closer to the end because this gospel's uh being preached and has been preached to the four corners of the globe. And um, a lot of brothers do videos on a uh, internet censorship in uh, America, but there's a lot of internet censorship going on in uh, Europe and the UK as well. And there are brothers all over Europe uh, out there on the highways and byways pushing this word as well as in the United Kingdom. But this is an article from activistpost.com titled Splinternet, EU censorship ramps up with ACTA 2 while UK passes terror law porn law and introduces first internet regulation agency i'm gonna jump down in this article to uh all the internet censorship information dealing with the uk because uh, i've done videos on acta before uk insane terrorism law if all that wasn't enough the UK has also passed one of the most draconian pieces of legislation on viewing terrorist propaganda in the history of the internet. As we always say, what is uh, defined as terrorist propaganda? That's a slippery slope. Anything against the ruling powers is a uh, control on power could easily be considered terrorist propaganda, which uh, especially is what this uh, word is. Because with the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways preaching this true gospel, we're bringing Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's rulership, to its end. The new law has been deemed a thought crime by United Nations Inspector Professor Joe Kanatasi, who has said it seemed arbitrary and added, it seems to be pushing a bit too much towards thought crime. The difference between forming the intention to do something and then actually carrying out the act is still fundamental to criminal law. And a thought crime is uh, similar to that movie Minority Report to where you could be uh, convicted for just thinking something without actually uh, taking, uh, without actually committing the action. A number of new rules means people can be jailed for viewing terrorist propaganda online entering designated areas abroad and making reckless expressions of support for certain groups. And what does that sound like? Viewing terrorist propaganda online, such as going to GMS videos on YouTube and making reckless expressions in the comment boards of support for certain groups, saying Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is the devil, death to America, and all that. The designated areas have not been defined by the government yet, However, they are expected to include territory controlled by terrorist groups and war zones throughout the Middle East, although the law has an exception for individuals who are forced involuntarily to remain in one of those areas. And you can look, also look at it like this. A designated area can be considered an area where um, brothers get together in the, on the highways and byways to preach this word to spread what they consider to be a hate speech and terrorist propaganda, or even further, say uh, brothers get together at a brother's house to uh, do a live stream video at the most extreme they can consider that a designated area and send uh, police forces to kick in the door and arrest those brothers for being a terrorist spreading hate speech when all we're doing is preaching the words of Yahweh by Hashem Shai through these scriptures after NGOs raised human rights concerns further exemptions include humanitarian work journalism which could uh, just easily be considered pro-government pro-narrative journalism and funerals the government also lengthened prison sentences for several terror offenses 
ended automatic early release for those convicted of terrorist actions and put them under a stricter monitoring process after they are freed from prison. UK Home Secretary Sajid Javid said the Counterterrorism and Border Security Act of 2019 gives police the power they need to disrupt terrorist plots earlier and ensure that those who seek to do us harm face uh, just punishment. And another thing is uh, a lot of these uh, terrorist attacks that happen in uh, these countries are all false flags to further spread uh, draconian, to further pass draconian uh, measures and uh, further bring about a police state. There's a book called Gladio that shows that a lot of uh, communist attacks that happened in Europe during the Cold War were just uh, CIA and other uh, European intelligence agencies' false flag operations to further take away the people's rights and pass draconian laws. Same with these uh, so-called terrorist attacks, 9-11 being a perfect example. As we saw in the deadly attacks in London and Manchester in 2017, the threat from terrorism continues to evolve, and so must our response, which is why these vital new measures have been introduced, Javid added. A detailed report by the Joint Committee on Human Rights also stated that the offense being punishable by up to 15 years in prison, it is a breach of the right to receive information and risks criminalizing legitimate research and curiosity. The obvious question one is left wondering is who decides what is terrorist propaganda? Ding, ding, ding. Is it only defined as ISIS and Al Qaeda, which have already been proven to be uh, uh, proxy uh, forces for uh, US, Israel, and European interests? Or is it the definition or is the definition much broader to possibly include protesters against the government in the future? We will have to, of course, wait and see. And this is what it's all about, Pro, uh, labeling uh, protesters against the government as terrorist propaganda and uh, political agitators. And first and foremost, those that they're going after are the men of the Lord, chiefly through GMS on the highways and byways, pushing this word in 100% truth, because the elites at the top understand that the Bible is the truth. And they understand that when the true men of the Lord are out there pushing this word, that whatever kingdom ruling at the time is going to come to an end. And of course, they don't want that because they also understand that they're Edomites and they understand that once they go into a hardcore bondage and slavery, that's a wrap. They're never going to be able to come back into power because after a thousand years of that hardcore bondage and slavery, they're going to be eradicated from the face of the earth. UK creation of first Internet regulator. This all comes on the heels of the UK wanting to establish the world's first independent regulator to keep social media companies in check as CNET reported. This agency will be designated, designed to make the internet a safer place. The new regulation firm was jointly announced by the Home Office and Department of Culture, Media, and Sport. The government white paper titled Online Harms, published Monday in the UK, outlines plans for a world-leading package of online safety measures, i.e. censorship. The white paper proposes establishing in a law, like establishing in law, a new study of care toward users, which will be overseen by an independent regulator. Companies will be held to account for tackling a comprehensive set of online harms, ranging from illegal activity and content to behaviors which are harmful but not necessarily illegal. The release reads. All social media companies, file hosting sites, online forums, messaging services, and search engines will be required to tackle the following issues. So that pretty much covers everything from YouTube to Facebook to Instagram to Google searches, what have you. Incitement of violence and the spread.